leaving Newport. The weather's changed. It's got uh, blue skies and crisp. And from what I saw in the forecast, a 10 to 15 mile an hour north wind, which will be pushing me the whole day. So I'm gonna go find me some coffee and maybe a bite to eat and try to do 70 miles or 80. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Quack, quack, quack. Here goes another day of bicycle tour. See a cool bridge coming up. But there's one bridge I got my eyes on. The Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm heading there. I'm hoping that since now it's Tuesday that the traffic will be less than it was on Sunday when I was getting through uh, Pacific City Beach and Lincoln City. And so far it is that way. That's pretty much the way it's been the whole time. Just ups and downs for short distances and some uh, straightaways. Just up and down, up and down. So far smooth, I'm just rocking the miles. It's an easy day. I saw earlier it's about 1,600 feet of climbing today, so it's not too bad for making the miles. And it's early, it's only like 11. It's so entertaining to go from one community to the next after several miles, like every four miles or so, you're coming up on a new town or city. Another beautiful bridge coming up too. That was a blast. So cool to have a bike path on a bridge where I can stop. The last couple of bridges I've gone through don't really have one. So I've been 
just getting through them. That was a, a blast right there. port that I just went through just had this gorgeous bay with the bridge and now I'm uh, on a state park day use only area with gorgeous ocean views it's hard to cover a lot of miles because I'm stopping all the time but it's totally worth it and really entertaining I see the next town is only five miles away so I'm just gonna go right back into a, another community and I'm stopping in almost every scenic point that you could just take in the ocean. It's really beautiful. Traffic has definitely been more manageable today than during the weekend. Back to it! This is becoming one of the most pleasant days I've had. Wide shoulder, no rumble strips, light traffic. I'm leaving Yahats, had a couple of roadside tacos and I'm ready for another 30 miles. The day is young and beautiful. Way less traffic, nice shoulder and crazy good weather with a tailwind. Here's a great example of how being on a bicycle can uh, allow you to see so much more than with a car. I'm on the turn of a road here and there is nowhere to park a car. The only way is to lay low here on the edge of the shoulder and check out the scenery. Back there I saw a slogan for uh, one of the towns that said that this is where the forest meets the ocean and I can uh, attest to it now. These conifer forests are just dropping right into the shore here. What a day I'm having, it's just gorgeous out here today. The tailwind's blowing like, at least up here it's going 15 to 20. I'm gonna take it in even though I've been here for a little while and shoot down and keep riding. I'm gonna ride till dark because it's just a, one of those days. You just gotta stay on the road and keep on making those miles and seeing what I can. Something's happening around here. I hear there's a blowhole that pushes water out of a formation on the rocks on high tide, and it's high tide right now, so we'll see if I can see it. One of the things I notice when I stop at these scenic overlooks 
is that everybody's in such a good mood. Every time I see people enjoying natural beauty, they're just uh, filled with happiness, including myself. I'd venture to say that that's one of the most beautiful sections of the Oregon coastline. Today was spectacular with the scenery. A lot more climbing than I thought I, would, I was gonna have, but it was uh, not bad at all and worth it. Those uh, viewpoints from up top, unbelievable. I haven't been filming in a while. Went through the city of Florence and I'm trying to get to a campground. I'm gonna be over 60 miles today, which is nice. And a lot more climbing than I thought I was gonna do. See if I can get there, another five miles. Well, I made it, I'm only a mile away. And it's gonna be a nice uphill in the morning as I can see, holy smokes. But I'm gonna enjoy this drop right now and find me a place to camp. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to you, too. We gotta get a picture. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. <laughs> Great to meet, meet yeah, you guys. Yeah, really good to meet you, too. Uh, these folks last night, they were very kind to let me camp in their campground spot, and they fed me. We had a fire going. Here. They used a 
buggies and uh, quads, the ATVs. quads, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And they go on the sand dunes and do all kinds of stuff. They offer for me to do it, but I gotta keep moving forwards today. Oh. Here's Kelly, Greg, Joe, and you know me. <laughs> This is Joe. He's uh, been super cool to hang out with. Last night we all just hung out and talked around the fire. Going, he was blast. Those guys were so nice. They just uh, salt of the earth. I'm uh, very fortunate right now to have met them last night, be able to hang out with some really great people. Here's a good way to start the day. I knew it was coming because I dropped it yesterday when coming in here. All right, now I can start the day. Back to one. So far so good, a few climbs, but not many. Nice cool weather, dry. The traffic is low. Just uh, scooting on down to the south. Legit climbing in Oregon. Don't be fooled. If you come this way, you got climbing to do. It's day 16 and I'm feeling stronger every day. Climbing is definitely uh, becoming more uh, solid for me. Unbelievable views up here. I made it to the top of this uh, pass here. and The day is spectacular. Light winds coming out of the north. This misty air, looking over the top of these pines. And the coastline way down there at the end there. I thought I was uh, at the top of the climb there, about ready to get on a descend. And instead I'm like cruising on the top, sort of in a plateau. Nice cool weather, shady, gorgeous up here. Absolutely spectacular scenery. Another insane climb past Reed Sport. I'm about 20, 30 minutes into it. 
What a beast of a climb. Straight up. All I have to say is that I never stopped, but that's about it. Here's a viewpoint where I can take a break. <laughs> I just needed one. Oh man. That was a crazy hill. <laughs> I'm recuperating up here. Mistake I made. But I didn't know the hill was coming or this climb was coming. But my mistake was that I ate back there at Reed Sport. And I should have probably just waited an hour before I started cycling. But I can't sit around, so I started cycling right up. Back to it. All right, back to it. I got to get back on the bike and do this downhill. It should be pretty phenomenal. Here's a rare time that I get to pass a trucker. Not easy. 101 right there for a long time. This incessant, non-stop flow of traffic, truckers, the whole nine yards. It's a small shoulder and very loud. If there's ever a hectic road or a section of a road, I'd say it's right here before North Bend. But I'm close, I see the bridge. I'm here with Doug, he just pulled off on the side of the road. You're from St. Helens. St. Helens. He's from St. Helens and he says he does this uh, 1,000 mile trip twice a year to Brookings and goes over the California border and then goes back home to stay in shape. So how many miles do you do a day? Oh, you know, 30 to 70. Yeah, that's how I do yeah, it. Yeah, whatever is comfortable. If I see a pretty girl, and if I can talk to a pretty girl, I- You stop for a while? I stop for a long time. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doug's got a sick bike, it's a Surly with a roll-off speed hub. And he's got all these uh, nice hydraulic brakes, like XT, Shimano. And he's got it all rigged out with all these panels. Pretty cool meeting you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, Diego. What a cool guy, Doug. Spent like a half hour, maybe more, chatting with him. He said he crossed China. Been all over Mexico. Super cool to meet people like that. A happy guy. And he's telling me that this uh, bridge crossing is sketchy to say the least so we'll see what happens holy smokes that was the most sketchiest bridge crossing I've ever had to do. There is just so much traffic and there was no way I was gonna block traffic. And I really felt like cycling over the bridge on the sidewalk was safer than me walking the bike up and down. It would've taken longer and, but man, there's like a giant drop from the sidewalk to the road. <laughs> and it's like giant trucks all kinds of vehicles you can see them behind me just constantly blowing by the very rare moment that was calm enough that i felt good enough to take the camera out for just a three seconds here and three seconds there to document the crossing but anyways i'm on north bend this 101 is a rattling highway for sure it's either this time of the year or I don't know what, the time of the day, it's just like, I'd much rather be on any freeway in the country than be on this road. I hate to say that because I like any kind of road and it's challenging enough, but the noise level is super high, shoulders not huge, and it's just constant, 
constant flow of traffic. Not serene in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, North Bend. I'm gonna see what I can do about where to stay. I'm completely mentally more than physically exhausted, but both. Whew. Bicycle touring. Challenge, reward. I survived this bridge. Whatever it's called, the McCullough Bridge. I don't know. I'm in Coos Bay now, enjoying riding on the sidewalk. I have no idea what I'm doing, just pedaling. I'm on some commercial area, trying to find a inexpensive place to stay <laughs> in the farthest reach of this town, so who knows what. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> I'm rattled. We're running for pink slips. Yeah, man, he's gonna own my bike here shortly. I'm about to win it. My MC is no longer mine. Back on Juan, leaving Coos Bay. There was another way to go, but it was setting like uh, maybe eight miles to the day. And I decided to uh, omit it, which is probably not a great idea, but so far I got a nice shoulder. The traffic's quiet compared to yesterday. So we'll see what I can do today. 1,600 feet of climbing. Do it on one. I'm starting to notice some hostility between the truckers towards me and cyclists that I've never noticed before. At first, I thought it was a coincidence but I've noticed them passing close by me and then swerving into the bike lane and staying on it sort of like in a posture and trucks sometimes uh, they blow their smoke at me they go by and then they rev up really high and leave a big old plume of blue smoke and I've had a truck go by and continue to do it the length of the highway ahead of me but I've also spoken with some truckers and they say that there's a lot of cyclists on this road as of the recent years and oftentimes they'll be like three side by side chatting it up congesting the lane and causing possible danger for everybody so I can see both sides mostly the truckers who are trying to make a living getting frustrated at it but then again i'm uh speaking about a very minute minority of them the majority of them are really nice some go out of their way to uh, create space and safety so here's the last climb of my tour no not really they're all the same they all seem like after a straightaway it's gonna end and then it makes a slight turn to the right most of the times and it's more I'm still at it there was a false summit and then another bunch of climbing
I'm here with Rachel and Mitchell, and yep. uh, I stopped at the Game Park Safari, and these two are having their one-year anniversary stopping here to check out Woo! the action. They've been here since 10 a.m., and it's almost 4. Anyways, they helped me with my phone. My phone just completely collapsed, and I had no way to figure it out, and they let me use their phone, and we got it figured out, and then we've been and chatting here for like friend. an hour. Right? You're like friend. an hour. I got a pocket <laughs> full of rocks that she picked off the gravel here that I'm gonna I like rocks. Or you're gonna get rocks. <laughs> Can't get better, you know? I like rocks. It was nice chatting with Mitchell and Rachel there, but holy smokes, it got me uh running late for getting somewhere. I try to say goodbye a bunch of times, but they're really sweet and chatty. She kept uh giving me rocks that she was picking up from the parking lot that she wanted me to have. I've been passing cranberry ponds with the cranberries floating over the surface there and this machinery picking it up and filling it with trucks that I see passing me by here and there loaded up with uh, beautiful red cranberries. All right, stop talking, keep riding. I just totally lucked out again. I was tired and there's this KOA ahead, but I know KOAs and I don't really care for them. And there was a private campground here on the side of the road. It's a little fancy to say the least, but it has a website, nobody around. It's like 40 bucks to camp. But then one of the uh, people staying here was offering for me to camp on his site. And then I left the number with the host. The guy calls me and he's like, just stay there he says he'll be here in 15 minutes and we'll work something out and it's really beautiful it's a lot of nice grass to uh, camp at right behind there so i uh i was kind of running late today but it's uh paid off somehow I'm here hanging out with Joy, Joy and Justin down there. And uh, Joy's making me breakfast before I take off and we've been chatting like a lot. They're a really beautiful family. And this is a little munchkin. Aven. Aven. What's yeah. up? Oh, yeah. Knuckles. We got knuckles, knuckles bro. <laughs> Like with uh, the coloring board. Uh -huh. They thought they suspected that at first, yeah. but that turned out. Yeah. Craziest, coolest part of bicycle touring is meeting up beautiful people that are givers, and they've been really kind to take care of me. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. I thought it'd be fun for Avon too, but we just have to teach him like, okay, okay we can only do this on our walls, not on anybody else's walls. I'm leaving this campground after having breakfast with Justin and Joy and their little beautiful baby. I had a ball. It really is worth, uh, you know, doing less miles and having these uh, amazing experiences, getting to know people, their stories. But right now I got, I'm gonna try to do 50 miles to Gold Beach and find a campground there. Let's get riding. I don't see a lot of trucks or here a lot of traffic so it might be just a smooth ride all the way there I got a tailwind and I'm just making up the miles a lot of downhilling today just smooth sailing right now I'm in a ball today a lot of downhilling tailwind sunny skies can't get better than this look how windy it is low traffic just rocking the miles I just had Justin pass me <laughs> he slowed down and turned his blinkers on really fortunate Every time I meet quality people, which is often, every day. I saw Justin's hat because I recognized it and I stopped and get it. And he had, he was, I don't know what you were doing. I don't know. I saw you, bro. We had to go get gas, but yeah. I was thinking about the quarter you gave me as I was coming around this bend and how freaky it was. 
close that I saw the hat right after I was, I was about to start telling the story. What a trip, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love you, brother. Oh, you too, dude, man. you made some sick time, dude. You like go, bro. <laughs> I gotta bro, tell him. Port Arthur, bro. Port Arthur's just right down the way, bro. All right. Yeah. I'll see you, bud. Be I careful. I love you, homie. I'll see you later. See you too. I love you too, bud. See ya. I'm almost to Gold Beach, about a 50 mile day, maybe a little less. I just gotta get over its bridge that I see now, it's gorgeous. And uh, it's been a fun day. Plenty of climbing, but not too much. Plenty of tailwind and some headwind here at the end. Wow, here's amazing scenery right here. Holy smokes. Starting my day, leaving Gold Beach. Had an awesome night at a campground. I uh, met this person, this girl, Elaise, who's uh, from France. We chatted it up all night. Didn't really record much, I had a ball. And uh, she's a power cyclist. She's ahead of me already a while after having some breakfast. So about a 52 mile day to a campground just north of Crescent City. And after that, it should be the Redwood Forest. Alrighty, let's finish up Oregon, California today. I'm on a nice city climb coming out of Gold Beach. Just a nice day. It's a little foggy in the morning, but I think it's gonna clear up and, and it's cool. Almost there. What a climb. I know I keep saying that here in Oregon, but they are legit.
what a view from here. These giant rocks coming right out of the ocean. Impressive. there and I'm um, starting at the sand I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be in Brookings which is the city closest to the California border pretty soon like in the next few miles to Brookings. I'm gonna try to eat something, get some more fuel in me. I'm coming up on the Oregon-California border. That was quite a hoot in Oregon. Not easy. There are some massive trees here. Beautiful. Reminded me of uh, Olympic National Park. Gorgeous. A couple more miles. It'll be a 55 mile day. I'm six hours in right now. Over 2,000 feet of climbing. I'm pretty sure. I gotta check that. And uh, I got a nice campground really soon. I can't wait. Wow, what a day I had yesterday, <laughs> that was insane. But I made it over the border and camped out in, in this uh, redwood forested uh, campground. It's called Florence Keller County Park and Campground. Just beautiful and quiet and peaceful and just a little bit of noise from the traffic afar, but it's kind of white noise that makes me sleep even better. And um, now I'm heading south on a 101 some more into uh, California and to San Francisco and this has uh, been a fun time crossing the Pacific Northwest. Just can't wait to see more.